All right, anything else in this room besides plants on every freaking desk is creeping me out? Look. There's a flower on the desk, somehow it makes things feel that much weirder. There's a flower on the desk, same thing. I'm getting a coin for all of them? What the hell? What's the point though? I have so many coins, I don't need them. Yeah, that's it. They won't let me select anything else but the flowers, so I'll get out of here. Okay. So we found the picture. Pretty weird. What is this? The headmaster's office. And they found the door said headmaster. The headmaster's room, there must be something worthwhile in there. And it's locked, of course. I'm already taking a good look at things around here, so I'll go back to the dining hall with the others. Not long after I got to the dining hall, the others began to trickle in. And after a few minutes... Hmm. So, is this everyone? Well, then. Okay, let's discuss what we all discovered. Hmm. Yeah, good idea. Okay. Um, Kyoko? She's ignoring me. So, huh. um... Hey, Makoto. Does Kyoko seem upset to you? That's right. She is, isn't she? She's totally mad. Yeah, looks like it. What's your deal? I bet it's your fault, isn't it? You must have done something to her. Ah, this is bad. Ha <laughs> huh. Metal sheets have been attached to all the windows on the fourth floor. None of them budged an inch. In other words... Just like everywhere else. <sighs> Escape from the fourth floor seems unlikely. That was to be expected, though. Okay. Hmm. I found a couple rooms on the fourth floor, but they were locked. The data center and the headmaster's room. Ah! The headmaster's room? That sounds exactly like the kind of place where we'll find some clues. If we could somehow unlock the door and get inside. But... <clears throat> who cares about a stupid lock? How about that? There should be no problem for the world's strongest missing link to knock down one measly door. <laughs> what was that? What? What? <laughs> no, please, continue. You say I've got the nicest butt on the block, the curviest hips in town? Is that what you said? What the heck? Hell no, I didn't. Hey. Then what did you say? Because I know you weren't talking about tearing down the door to the headmaster's room. <laughs> Unbelievable. Knocking down your headmaster's door? What kind of war on education are you trying to start here? Your teacher had such faith in you. That's. Oh, excuse me. That's my room, you know. It is now, anyway. Would you shut up? Let's try it again. That's my room, you know. It is now anyway, and you're thinking of busting it down? You seriously don't want to piss me off. You have any idea how much bacteria lives in a single bear claw? Uh, um... Uh, no, I was just kidding. Please don't get mad. Yeah, I'm not mad. What? What? You're totally mad. This is kind of depressing. I was hoping I wouldn't have to add a rule for this, but if you're going to go around having those thoughts... I have no choice but to add to the school regulations. Seriously? Too bad! Breaking down a locked door is prohibited. There, that's a rule now, you jerks. The new rule was added to the regulations <sighs> menu. Is he gone? <sighs> oh man, I was scared for my life. I was sure he was gonna kill me for serious. Well. But if he would go out of his way to make up a rule like that, there's no doubt something important hidden in the headmaster's room. <clears throat> but now that it's a rule, there's nothing we can do. Okay, what about Hina? Yeah! There was a big shelf in the chem lab on the fourth floor and it had all kinds of chemicals and stuff. Okay! And there was an all-star cast of nutrient additives and supplements. You should at least take a peek, I highly recommend it. <sighs> I think you and Ogre are probably the only ones interested in stuff like that. Hmm. Oh, but it's not all good stuff though. There was medicine and health stuff, but on top of that, um... there was a bunch of different poisons. Poison? Mm. They were all labeled clearly, though, so it would be hard to grab one by mistake. It's true. Still, we'd better be sure we're careful around there. Um... And we probably shouldn't tell Byakuya or Toko about the poison, right? Huh? What do you mean? Well... Well, just in case, you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, um... Just in case? Yeah, I think you're right. However... It's Byakuya. It won't be long before he's discovered it for himself. But to put something as dangerous as poison right out in the open, that's absolutely the work of the mastermind. Hmm. So, has everyone said what they need to say? Hmm. I think so. For serious. But it looks like nobody found any clues at all, let alone a way out of here. Uh -huh. I haven't been this depressed since my house burned to the ground. Someone do something to cheer me up. 
Um, can I say something? How about that? What the fuck? It's because my dad was smoking in bed? That's... No, uh, I have something I'd like to report. So you guys all remember, right? You remember when I found the picture on the third floor the other day? Perhaps. You mean the one that showed Mondo, Chihiro, and Leon all together, right? Huh? Yeah, I remember. What about it? Well, I found another one. Another picture almost just like that one. Huh? Another one? But this time, the picture was Celeste, Hifumi, and Sayaka. Huh? huh? And they're all smiling. And the classroom in the picture didn't have any metal covering on the windows. Ugh. So the picture of Mondo, Chihiro, and Leon wasn't the only one. Now, if you found one that had Celeste, Hifumi... Oh. Now you found one that has Celeste, Hifumi, and Say Sakaya? But... I keep saying Sayaka. Her name was Sakaya. But how can that... Conspiracy! Monokuma must have faked it. But if the picture is real... Then everyone who was in it... There would have to be some kind of hidden connection there, don't you think? Some deeper truth that we just don't understand? What? what? Can't be, it's a fake! But Monokuma said it was real. I know we can't just write it off as a lie, but... So then... Then you trust Monokuma's word over the people who have died? Huh? Because... That's what you're saying, isn't it? No, that's not it. <laughs> I'm shocked. You told everyone how we should believe in our friends, but you refused to do the same. That's not... What's going on, Kyoko? Why are you getting so emotional? I don't understand why she's so angry. Hey, come on. Come on, guys. Stop fighting or all your good luck is going to float away. Anyway, Makoto, you're thinking about it too much. There's no way Monokuma didn't fake that picture. Of course. He's just trying to confuse us. You shouldn't listen to anything Monokuma has to say. Y you might be right, but still. Are you still so conflicted? What? Looks like you guys have stopped playing nice. Yakuya. You all have the same sunken look on your faces. You were all so ugly before. You shouldn't let them sink any lower. <laughs> when I look at you, it makes me think of a frog singing into a pile of manure. <laughs> you know? Sorry. Just a second. Why are you apologizing? What the heck? Leave us alone. You're not a part of this. That's right. That's true enough. Your problems aren't mine. We are and always will be completely separate. So whatever's causing your faces to turn so ugly has absolutely nothing to do with me. And if I happen to discover a vital clue, it wouldn't concern you in the slightest. Huh? Huh? Did he finally just say something useful? Hey. Yakuya, what have you been up to? That's fine. I don't mind telling you. Perhaps forcing your lazy brains to get to work might do you some good. Such ignorance. I was in the bath. What else would you like to know? Today's lottery numbers? He was taking a bath? He's saying he's been talking to Alter Ego? Did he tell him something? It would seem... Maybe we should all go take a bath. Mm. Ah, good idea. Hmm. A mixed bath? Okay. A mixed bath? If Alter Ego really did tell him something, I wonder what it could have been. Alright, well, let's find out. Let's get a mixed bath. Let's do it. Let's get some skin showing, baby. That's what I'd like. Bear it all to the world. Whoa! When I got to the dressing room... Toko was sitting alone on the bench the laptop in front of her. Toko, did you decide to come hear what Alter Ego has to say, too? What's your problem? I already heard it with Master. <laughs> with Master! <sighs> you don't have to keep saying it. Anyway, what are you doing right now? <laughs> Shut up! Stop bothering me! How about that? Get out of the way! We have to talk to Alter Ego! Ooh, well... No, I made Master a promise. Mm. A promise? <laughs> Master told me to wait here, so that's what I'm doing. Huh? What are you, his dog? <laughs> it's what Master wants. I'd do anything he asks. <sighs> you just love being mistreated. <laughs> well, fine. If you really want me gone, by all means. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hey, guys. What's going on? <laughs> oh, we'd like you to move. Yes! Sure thing. Just kneel before me and beg. What? What? First a Mega Master Chest, now a Super Sadist. <laughs> This why Jack is sitting in front of the laptop. I can't get to it. Oh, boy. <clears throat> um, Toko, seriously, I'm asking you nicely to let us use the laptop. What? Hum? <laughs> Did you hear what I said? I told you to kneel and beg. How about that? Come on, Makoto. Give her the old one-two combo. One, drop to your knees, and two, beseech. <laughs> what are you acting like? Why are you acting like you're not part of this? 
I was as desperate as I felt. Actually, finally, I did yield down in front of her, and I said, please, I'm begging you. Will you please let us see the laptop? <laughs> Oh, I'm on fire! <laughs> Such an ultra-miraculous feeling of happiness. All my pent-up anger at Master for abusing me is evaporating. <sighs> so even you realize it's abuse. Hey. That should be enough, right? Hurry up and let us talk to Alter Ego. <laughs> okay. Alright, so we can finally talk to Alter Ego. Yeesh. <laughs> 